What's going on everyone and welcome back to Johnny K Bets where I break down my bets for the upcoming UFC event. This week we have UFC Vegas 38 Santos versus Walker. Before I get into my bets for the week, please go ahead and gas up my like and subscribe button just a touch more, a little further than it already is if you will. And also don't forget to turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on any of my content. And when you're done watching the video, feel free to go ahead and watch my Johnny K Picks video where I predict and break down my favorite fights for UFC Vegas 38. Okay, so real quick here I'm going to do a little recap of my bets from last week which was UFC 266 so it looks like I only hit on one of my bets which was the Dawkins KO prop looks like I came away with a little bit of a profit of 0.7 units so it was a good thing I threw down two units and I was pretty confident that he was going to get that KO he almost got it in the first but definitely in the second I knew after that first round hit I was like he's going to get it and of course my arch nemesis Andraj kind of screwed me over on two bets uh, by getting that KO, but I really thought Kabilo can withstand her power, but it looks like she couldn't, so, oh well, live and learn. Alright, so let's go. So here are my bets for UFC Vegas 38, Santos versus Walker. Alright, so I got a couple underdog bets that I'm going to wrap into one little segment here. I have one unit on Serkinov at plus 130, and I also have a half a unit on Chazion at plus 200. I really do think that Misha has a clear path to vic victory, and that path is get the fight to the mat. But to be fair, he also could KO Joko because he does have power in his hands. The only thing, like I said in my earlier video, that worries me about Misha is his chin. Um, I'm pretty confident, though, that he can get the fight to the mat, and when you're on top, it doesn't matter about your chin as much, obviously. And with Chazion, this is more of a gut feeling for me. Um, I do think Ladd is probably the better fighter overall, but with Macy's height and reach advantage, I do think it's going to cause a problem for Lamb. And if Macy can just defend the first initial takedowns in the first round, I really feel like that's going to go a long way for her. And then she's going to gain that confidence and just outstrike her the whole fight. All right, so next bet I have is a three-fighter parlay, and I have a one-unit bet on that. I have Selicki, Price, and Holland all on the money line, and I got that at plus 385. I really feel pretty confident about these picks. Um, to me, Selecki and Price have multiple ways to win. Um, they can get the sub, they can get the KO, they can win by decision. I feel confident with both those guys for sure and the little red flag is if Holland worked on his takedown defense but if he can just stay on his feet for a little bit of time I really do feel like he can win this fight whether it's by KO or decision I mean come on worst case scenario Dawkins takes him down and gets him on his back and what happens he can knock him out from the ground <laughs> oh. No big deal, am I right? Okay, so for my first prop bet here that I'm really confident in this week is a two-unit bet on Nico Price to win by finish. And I got that at plus 120. So why is this my favorite bet of the night? Well... Price's six wins in the UFC have all been finishes, whether it's KO or submission. And Oliveira has been finished in six of his eight UFC losses. So I don't know what's going to happen. I think Nico can get the sub. I really do think he can get the knockout. It's going to be one or the other. You can go either way. If you want to be a little risky, which is a, kind of a little sprinkle play if you want to go rogue, is do price by submission at plus 1200. Even if you throw 10 bucks down on that, you're going to get 120 back in return. So that's not a bad bet. I mean... I might even do that, but I'm going to say price to win here by finish. Okay, so for my next prop bet, I have a one unit bet on O'Neal to win by finish again, and I got that at plus 140. I really do like O'Neal a lot here to win this fight, um, and she's fighting the bad Shevchenko. She the bad Shevchenko's last fight, we saw that she's an okay striker, and she's good on her feet, but when she gets on the mat and on her back, yikes, she is fish out of water. And this is why I think O'Neal can finish the fight, because she can take her down either ground and pound her, or even get a submission. Her two wins in the UFC are finishes, one by KO and one by sub. So I don't want to say this is a no-brainer bet, but O'Neal is fighting the bad Shevchenko, who's terrible on the ground, who finished two of her UFC fights. So give me O'Neal by finish at plus 140. Okay, real quick, before I get to my last bet here, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for me. Also, if you want a little bit more of an in-depth breakdown, I do have a video I posted earlier, Johnny K Picks. So feel free to go ahead and watch that after this. Okay, Hail Mary time. Uh, I have my Hail Mary parlay bet, which I usually do 0.5 units on. I have Price, Selecki, and O'Neal, all money line bets. And the only oddball is Santos to win in the first or second round. All that together, I got that at plus 829. All right, so as I said before, I'm pretty confident in Price, Selecki, and O'Neal to win one way or another, whether it's KO, sub, or decision. And in the Santos fight, I got Santos winning. I picked him to win, and I do not think that this 
fight's gonna go longer than two rounds. It might not even go longer than one round. And the big reason why I think Santos is gonna win is his experience and fight IQ. Although someone did tell me that experience doesn't matter against Walker, so take that with a grain of salt. Um, yeah. Anyway, I think this fight's gonna be mainly on its feet, but by some chance, if it does get to the mat, I do think Santos has the edge. And then, like I said, someone's getting KO'd. Whether it's the first round or second round, it could be Santos. Who knows? But I really feel like Santos is gonna knock out Walker here. His chin looks a little suspect from the last fight, and yeah. So there you have it. Those are my bets for UFC Vegas 38, Santos versus Walker. So what does everyone think? Do I have a couple winners in this? Should I have just saved my money and not bet at all? Go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Maybe throw your bets in there too. And if you follow any of these bets, good luck to you. I'll see you next time, and happy fight night.